Good morning, friends. Starting this video in my car because that's where I seem to be most days. <laughs> oh, this month has been crazy. And I'm always thankful that I take the time to plan out my meals ahead of time because months like this that we've had with we have softball, baseball, track, still have church weeknight activities, um, really weird school schedule for my middle schoolers, which is where I'm at. I'm sitting in the middle school parking lot right now waiting for them to get done with their elective classes. So it's just been a lot, but I'm always thankful that I take the time to plan out my meals and that's what it is time to do. So it's time to plan for May. Um, I'm trying to kind of stretch our April dinners. I'm going month long grocery shopping a little bit later than I typically would, like almost a week later, about five days, just with scheduling and stuff with the kids activities. I can't really do it during the day. Um, Friday, I like to go on Fridays because my husband is a pastor and he's home on Fridays and he can do the running around and stuff, but that's not going to happen until almost a week later. So there are not going to be any meals that I can, um, like put over to the next month. In April, we're going to use up all of the dinners that I had planned. Even some of the lunch items I'm just making for dinner. So we got a fresh slate. I'm going to sit here and look at my calendar, see how many meals I think we're going to need. And then um, I did already, I'll show it to you. I just, I made out my, um, I use a piece of notebook paper and I lay out the blank form, how I would like the meals to be laid out. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I need 26 dinners, it looks like, for May. So this is just very simple. This is how I lay it out. I have a little section for lunch, a little section for sides and snacks, and I only write something down right here if it's a recipe that I need the ingredients for. Like I don't write down broccoli or salad or, you know, if it's a side that I need special ingredients for, I'll write it down there. Desserts and breakfast ideas. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that I've decided I am keeping the meals very simple this um, month because I went over my grocery budget by quite a bit last month. And so I'm trying to do not like a low spend where I would cut out like all of the fun stuff, but I am trying to keep my recipes very simple ingredients, um, using the meat that I have stocked up in my freezer, and also because finally my pig is at the butcher right now that my friend grew raised for us. Um, so I will be filling the freezers with pork very shortly here. I already picked out all of my cuts. And so, um, there's only, you know, I don't have like ground turkey in the freezer and I don't have chicken, much chicken in the freezer, um, but beef and pork I will have plenty of. So there's going to be a lot of those types of meals to try to keep my grocery budget down this month. That did not take long at all because like I said, I'm keeping it simple. And I basically just picked out our favorites and the stuff that I already knew that we had at home. This is also another reason why I like keeping a freezer and pantry inventory right in my notebook because I'm away from home and I know exactly what we have. Um, also very helpful, like if you bring your planner with you everywhere, then you could also keep it in your phone. But then you have that information, like if you're at the grocery store and you're like, do I have that at home? You could always look. 
So anyway, let me see if I can set you down. The angle is like terrible in the car. <laughs> okay, we are having hamburgers. Can I slouch down? I don't know. We're having hamburgers. I still have those patties left from last month. Those will last a couple of months because it's such a large pack. Um, they're those frozen ones from Sam's Club I really like to get. I will make homemade buns to go with those because none of us really like the store-bought buns very much. We're going to have chili dogs with the big giant hot dogs from Sam's Club. Um, tater tot casserole, always a family favorite. I did put tater tots, and then here's my list as I go through the what I'm fixing. I put everything I need right on my list, so that part's already done. I did put tater tots on my list. I need to check the freezer. I know I have some down there, but the kids use them for like air fryer lunch sometimes. So I need to see if it's enough or if I need to get some more. We're going to have plain old spaghetti. I do have enough sauce in the freezer with the meat already made up and stuff, I think, for just the three of us that like sauce. That'll be super simple. Korean beef bowl, very easy to make. Um, I already have everything I need for that in the house always, although that prompted me. Did I write soy sauce down on my list? I did not, so I better add soy sauce because I do remember taking one out of food storage this month, so write that down. Plain old tacos. Um, I think we have enough hard shell tacos, but I'm going to um, write it down anyway because I like to keep a backup of those because I will often fix that for lunch sometimes as well. Enchiladas. I have all of those discount um, healthy, like low carb tortillas that I like to get. I got those at the discount store. I have tons of those in the freezer, so I'm going to use some of those up for enchiladas. And then we had Mexican rice. I had some extra that I just popped in the freezer. So I think I'm going to use that to stuff the enchiladas with along with some meat. Maybe I'll do pork since I have so much pork coming. Um, we'll see. Alfredo pasta. I have some, I don't normally use like jarred Alfredo sauce, but I can like make it my own and zhuzh it up a little bit. Uh, because I have some down in food storage that are getting close to their date, and I just, um, I would absolutely use it past the date, but I just want to make sure I get through a couple of those uh, before they get close to date. Um, then let me flip you around so you can see what my list looks like. Then we're going to do barbecue chicken thighs. I like to do them on the bone. Um, and you make a little slit by the bone so that the meat pulls away from the bone and they lay a little flatter and then they cook nice and even on the grill. Good grub, family favorite. We've had it many, many times. Turkey meatballs. I already have the sauce all made up, so all I would need to do is thaw that out and make the turkey, which I don't, or make the meatballs, which I don't have, um... Uh, ground yeah, ground turkey. I don't have any ground turkey in the freezer, so I need that on my list. Buffalo Sloppy Joes. You can use chicken or turkey. Very delicious. Cheeseburger soup. I have some Velveeta cheese I want to use up, left over from this month. Thai red curry noodles. I have everything I need for that already. Instapot hibachi steak. This is a good one. I did write some yum yum sauce down from Meyer. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Because you can make your own yum yum sauce, but um, I also have fried rice for our lunches. And it's just nice to not have to make that when you're like in a hurry and can just pull a condiment out of the refrigerator. So I'm going to get some of that. Barbecue pork sandwiches. I'm going to use canned pork um, for a really quick dinner one night. Ham slices. I have a bunch of ham slices in the freezer still. And then I'm going to serve that with cheesy potatoes and probably green beans. Everyone likes that meal. Chili mac, another family favorite, very easy. Pork chops from our yummy pig that we're getting. 
breakfast because we will be getting some really good bacon and we have not had bacon in a long time so I thought I'd do breakfast. Chicken fajita casserole, this is a low carb one. And I have some freeze dried peppers and onions that I wanna get used up so I'm gonna use that. French onion chicken meatballs, this is a new one that I'm trying out and I'm gonna use my home canned French onion soup for the sauce for that one. Okay, then tortellini primavera. I My asparagus is starting to come up, although it has halted because it's so freaking cold here in Michigan. It's never going to get warm. Journey had a softball game last night, and I thought I was going to die. I was so cold. It's like 39 by the time we left the game, and it frosted last night and stuff. It's terrible. Anyway, um... That is the most expensive part of that meal is the asparagus that I like to put in it. And so it'll be growing in my garden. All I have to get for that one. I also already have the ham all cubed up in the freezer. So all I will have to get are the frozen tortellini. Crockpot butter chicken. This is a half-baked harvest um, recipe that I'm going to try. And then a, also a new one, broccoli sausage cauliflower casserole. This is like a low-carb one. It just looked really good. And then crock pot coconut chicken curry. I think that one is also a half-baked harvest recipe. I'd have to double check. Then I just went through and wrote down lunch ideas, some dessert ideas. I We've been doing like family night on Friday nights or Saturday nights, however the schedule works out. And I make dessert on those nights and then the kids take turns like choosing if they want to watch a show together or if they want to watch a movie together or play a game together. Um, and I make dessert for that. So we have all of our regular breakfast items. I make homemade sourdough bagels, which are delicious. And I still would like to try the homemade sourdough English muffins. I love English muffins. Um, so also I did not write it down, but I will. I'll just write it right here. Um, I want to make some breakfast burritos. This is like an old Weight Watchers recipe that my friend gave me a really long time ago. It's super simple. It's sausage, cheese, eggs, salsa, and then you wrap it in a low-carb tortilla, freeze them, and then you pull them out and microwave them when you want to eat them for breakfast. So I haven't made those in a really long time. Julia and I would really enjoy those. So that is everything. I have my list. I have everything planned out. Um, I will place a Sam's Club pickup order and then I will have to go into Meyer and Aldi when the time comes. But I really love having all of my meals planned out. It's very helpful to me every single month, especially when we're having really busy months. Like May is going to be just as crazy as April is because of the kids' sports schedules and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, any links that I have to anything, I will link in the description box so that you can go try out the recipes if you would like to. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye!